Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. Yes, I have Happy Mail to share with you. Who doesn't like getting Happy Mail? Not me. I love it. Especially when it's a surprise and it's such a great joy to open and it's nice to think that someone thinks of you. So guys, I'm going to share my Happy Mail with you. First off the ranks, of course, I got a card from the lovely Barbara, Yani friend. Here you go. Isn't that lovely? Nautical, living near the water, both of us. I really like to catch up with her one day just to have a cup of tea and a chat about different things. There is quite a written message inside, but it's personal to me. Look at the back. That's really nice. What does it say on the back? made in Oklahoma City. So that's the first bit of Happy Mail from Barbara. I've been thinking about all these cards I've got in a shoebox that she sent me. I thought about something driving home a project but I'd have to check with some old cards from other people or you know old Christmas cards thing and try that project out first. I thought it might be a great way to save all the cards she sent me. So Happy Mail parcel wise look at this yes I opened it and it popped it was jam-packed and it is from the lovely Raylene in Victoria she did email me and tell me she would be sending me some stuff she sent me a photo of some of them isn't that a lovely card look at those flowers just beautiful beautiful red Flowers and animals created by God. There you go. It's a beautiful card. There are some information in there about what's in the bag and how she um, got them and why she sent them to me. So we'll go through it. So she did a bit of shopping when there were sales on and she thought of me and of course, da -dun, da -dun, she got me. Halloween tea towels to sell or give away depending on but I think they're awesome look at those all these so there's the purple with boo there's the dogs dressed up in Halloween costume skeletons in orange mm, that might have to stay here the witches in <laughs> that might have to stay here too Spooky cats and dogs. The cute, just too cute to spook. Wow. And home, sweet haunted home. This one might have to stay too, all this orange. So there were six tea towels she picked up on special for me. Um, because yes, I sell them on my charity craft stall. And generally with the tea towels, I give it to Emma's Quest. Save that bit. Then she picked up on special. Have you seen? I had not seen these. One squeaker. This is good. These are. I can feel the squeaker, but there we go. Look at these. Halloween plushies. I think. I'm not sure if that's not Frankenstein with the bolts. I don't know which. There's no names on the cards, so they just say Halloween um, plushies, Monster, Dracula, and Witch. So maybe that's the witch. That's the monster. What else have we got in here? <laughs> We've got this one, which might be Dracula. And he looks like a sloth. These are really cute. These are really cute. Do I make lovies for them? Oh, look at this one. Mr. Pumpkin Monster. I love them. She sent me quite a few of those. So there's going to be some crackling. I do apologise. But well, when you're hoping happy mail, that's the way it is. It's funny. I looked at this yarn the other day in Spotlight. And it's Halloween yarn. So there's the orange and black. And then there's this purple, green, orange, and black. I don't think it has colours on there, meters. 
it's 100% acrylic. There's 150 meters in a, I guess, a cake, and it takes a five millimeter knitting needle. Maybe I'd probably use a four and a half. But isn't that great? They're really good Halloween yarn. So they're two little cakes of yarn there. So there are some tins in here with Halloween buttons. So she obviously hit the sale, the Halloween sale. She said she'd had them for a while. And more Halloween buttons. So this was the yarn she thought oh, look at these Halloween big buttons there's just so much in here it's hard to know you pull something out and something else comes out this is the yarn she thought I might like Millen's big brand factory overruns and that is a Christmassy yarn open that can I open it without scissors don't have any scissors oh yeah I can it's really soft it's sort of like a cord you know I'm thinking I could use that on the wreath that I bought and make that the the foundation around the Christmas wreath they have 400 grams in that color that Christmassy color that is awesome. And, uh, yeah. There's more. There's still more. Creative crochet hook set. Soft grip for comfort. I've never seen these. Look at those. Oh, wow. I've never, ever seen them. They feel like clover and what? But they've got more of a flat bit there. I have to give those a try. They look pretty good. So that was a six millimeter. There's a three millimeter, a four millimeter, a six millimeter, a five millimeter, and a six millimeter. That could be my set for work. I've got a set already, but small fat fabric clips. Oh, I know what these are like little peg tricks. I'm not very good at opening. Look at these. Ta -da. My friend Ulia gave me some. They're really handy to have, even with um, crochet and knitting, amigurumi, and all that stuff. There's so much in here. There's a complete set knitting tools pack, there's a tape measure. There's yarn samplers, there's needle counters, there's a needle point. I have not seen these. Creative knitting tool pack, reusable pouch. Look at that. Same as the hooks. This is awesome. And here we have, of course, oh, more buttons. Christmas buttons. Look at those. And, um, and she sent me might go to UK with me. A giant spotlight bag. <laughs> Ta -da! And it looks like it's done of made like the pattern is crochet squares. Isn't that awesome? So there's that. I am saving the best to last, I must admit, there is something in here. <gasps> so she put in the card that she had packs and treats to reads he could enjoy while I was away but I don't go till the September so I reckon he's going to be enjoying these before there's some teas in there um, strawberry raspberry and loganberry there's some great teas in there for me peanut slab coconut slab Whitaker's is Thing's favorite chocolate but he's not here and that will not last until he gets back because Reeves will be like, oh no, it's going off. I have to heat it. So the thing in here at the bottom that I've saved to last, because it's really, really nice, is a 
I'm going to open one. Sorry, I know the crinkling drives some people insane, but it's sealed. She's given me this Rios yarn from her stash. It is 35 franc ochre, and this one is, I'm going to bust the bag. I can't see where it's sealed. Oh, there we go. <gasps> it is so soft. I love Rios. This is da -dun, da -dun, Malabrego Rios, and it's a four weight. This is teal feather, and this one is Frank Ochre, and they're both four weights. She said she had them in a stash. She got them in a giveaway, and she hasn't used them, and she knows I like Malabrego Rios yarn. I've never had the full weight, but mm, I might have to make something special with those. Wow. So, yes, am I spoilt or am I spoilt? Raylene, thank you so much. You're always thinking of me when you're out shopping at the sales. Just blows me away with the things you send. This one is so cute. I love these. And the tea towels, they always come in handy. And isn't it funny? You may get them from Spotlight where you are, but we did not have anything like this range up here. Halloween isn't very big, but in my area there are a few kids that go around and parents that are looking for Halloween stuff. So these will come in really handy. These orange ones may have to stay here, unfortunately, because it's orange. Okay, guys, that's my happy mail. What do you think? Has anyone ever tried the um, four-way Malabrigo Rios? Can you tell me what it's like? It is incredibly soft. It is. Dum, 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 dum. Worsted, 210 yards, 192 metres. It's 100 gram. Is this US 7 or 9? Oh, 4.5 or 5 mil, 0.5 millimetre. And it is 100% superwash merino. Look at that colour. It sort of like fades in and out. It's not totally solid. Should we open the other one? Yeah, why not? It's so soft. Look at that. This was she won from another, um, I think it was an Australian podcaster. She said she's had it quite a while and she thought I might like it. Mmm, lovely. Raylene, you just spoil me rotten. I don't know what to say. It's greatly appreciated and certainly made my day. It's quite late, but Reeves brought it home late and uh, over late and said, Hey, it looks like you've got a huge bag of happy mail. Love getting happy mail. I have picked my podcaster for um, Christmas in July and I sent it thinking it would take forever to get there because it was in Alaska. And the last time I sent Laura from Farm Mad Beanie's Farming and Crochet or Crochet and Farming, hers took forever. So this time, my podcaster for Christmas in July was the an Alaska, uh, I can say it, an Alaskan crafter Jan and I sent it to her. She has done a video because it arrived super quick. Must have gone on its own private plane. Anyway, I'll put a link to her video in the description below. Please check it out and see what I sent her. And yeah, enjoy happy mail, even if it's vicariously through other people. Stay well, stay safe, and make sure you have one crafty day using something new, original, be creative. But me might be the Malabrigo Rios. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.